Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at Cradlepoint Firmware Version 6 Part 2, The Connection Manager. If you did not see Part 1, or you need to know how to install Cradlepoint Firmware Version 6, click on the video in the lower right hand corner of your screen. So now that we're logged into the router, we're going to head over to the left hand navigation pane and click Connection Manager. This is where we'll see our WAN interface list, which is a way to manage all of the active internet connections on the router. We can manage our wired Ethernet connection, cellular modems, and our Wi-Fi WAN connections as well. On the right, we have our list of devices, which is set up as a click and drag interface. In order from top to bottom, this is our priority for our most important to least important connections. Each type of connection then is listed out, and in each connection it shows us the active or unactive devices. For our Ethernet group, you see we have a green light, which means we have a connected internet connection. And on the right, you can see all of the different options for this specific interface. The first link we have is to enable or disable. The second is for load balancing. We then have on-demand management, WAN verification, which is a health check, fail back, and then data usage per each individual modem. The next line down you can see we have our embedded modem which does not have a SIM card in and you can quickly see that there is an error and a red indicator telling us that it is not connected. And then the next device down we have is a UML290 which is a USB modem that is connected. Now the modem is a little bit confusing with the name that the cradle point gives it so we can click that and hit edit and we can configure the modem now. One of the things we can do is rename it to give us a little bit more control over our router. The other thing you'll see is all of the devices are set for enable and load balance. This means the router is going to follow the load balancing rules that are on the bottom of the page. Our load balancing algorithm is set to rate, but you can switch that to round robin, spillover, or data usage. If you're not sure what any of these things are at any point, you can go to the top right corner and expand the help section. When you mouse over a specific field, you'll see all of the information on the right change accordingly. So for this situation, we do not want to have all of our internet connections active and load balancing at the same time because that would cost us a lot of data usage. We just want the LTE connections to be a backup. So we're going to go and uncheck the load balancing box. Now we are set up in failover. After a few seconds, you can see our UML290 shows full signal, but it is listed now as available instead of connected. That's as simple as it is to change the failover settings on Cradlepoint Firmware version 6. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and for more information, visit 3gstore.com. Thank you.